As an amputee, it's very understandable to wonder, what are you going to experience the first time you fly? And it's not that bad. So here's a little insight to help make your travel experience go that much smoother. So before you even leave, gather together all of the supplies you need that relate to your medical condition, which means if you have socks, liners, sleeves, an extra leg, a pair of crutches, anything. Get that stuff together and pack it separately in its own bag, separate from your personal items. And the reason for that is, checking a bag with an airline costs somewhere around $34,000 per bag now. And as long as your bag contains medically necessary items, the airline cannot and will not charge you. So keep all medical devices and associated supplies separate from personal items and save a lot of money, all right? Trust me on that. Um, now, another thing to remember, and this is common, that in any carry-on bags, you cannot bring any liquids over three ounces in size. Now, I myself personally like to keep my lotion as well as my alcohol spray for my liner in my carry-on bag. So most large chain pharmacies have a travel size section. Go find that and you'll be able to find lotions in three ounces or less, as well as spray bottles that you can mix up your alcohol solution in, in less than three ounces. You'll have no problem getting those through TSA. And uh, another thing to keep in mind is if you have concerns over your seating assignment, don't worry. Call the airline, explain your medical condition and how it is they can help, and they will be more than happy to accommodate. There might even be a rare occasion where you'll get a seat upgrade. So the big day's here and you're finally going on vacation. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. If you're not the most mobile person, the airport will help assist you. If you're worried about you know, getting through the lines and getting through TSA and finding your gate, call ahead. Call the special needs department of the airport and they will arrange to have somebody with a wheelchair to push you along and help you get where you need to go. There is help. Um, now, if, even if you are you know, able to walk yourself and you're a very mobile person, you will have to go through TSA. This is where you go through the body scanner. Now, that body scanner is going to pick up your prosthetic leg. Making it visible and accessible is gonna help you get through TSA a lot faster. They don't have anything against you, they're not swabbing you because they think you're a bad person. It's just common procedure that they have to swab a prosthetic device to make sure that it's not filled with drugs or heaven forbid, an explosive device. We don't want that. Now, another thing you may experience when you go through the TSA checkpoints is that they ask passengers to remove their shoes before stepping into the scanner. Um, amputees can't always walk so well without their shoes on. Simply explain to the TSA agent that you are not able to walk without shoes on and you will not have to remove them. Again, this may flag you for further screening, but keep in mind that you do not have to take your shoes off if you cannot, okay? And another thing, they cannot ever ask you to remove your prosthetic device, especially in public, in the public eye. Um, let's say you've made it through uh, the checkpoint and you have made your way to the gate. This is where it basically turns into WrestleMania. You've got a whole bunch of people that just wanna get on that plane and stow their baggage and have a seat. And it can be a little bit cumbersome to stand in that line while everybody throws elbows at each other. So when they start the boarding process and you hear them call the first class passengers, go right ahead of them, don't worry. All you have to do is show them your prosthetic device, explain that you have a medical condition and you can't stand in lines. They're not gonna stop you. You're more than welcome to go right on ahead and be the first person on that plane if you need to be keep that in mind. Let's say you have a wheelchair with you or you have a walker or crutches with you. Don't worry about that either. Simply get through TSA, get to your boarding gate and speak with the gate agent. Let them know that you need to bring that device with you and they will make accommodations to gate check it. Basically what's going to happen is you're going to go down the little ramp in your wheelchair or with your crutches. They will assist you in getting to your seat in the airplane and they will then take that device and they'll put it on a little elevator and put it down below and into the belly of the plane. And then when you land at your destination, they will unload that and it'll be waiting for you right when you step off the plane. Thank you for tuning in. Rush Life.